Okay, in today's episode of Tim's Garage, we're gonna be installing a brand new projector home theater set up here on my wall that's on my patio in my backyard to finish off my super cool Texas backyard setup and replace this small 42 inch TV that I have here today with barely any sound with all of this great stuff that I've got here. So what do I got? Well, first of all, I have a new 100 inch motorized retractable screen that we're gonna put up. I have a brand new projector uh, that we're gonna hang from the ceiling actually just like in this photo. Um, and it has uh, Android TV, Netflix, all the things built into it. I have two pile speakers, one uh, that is uh, but what's well, an indoor outdoor system and one of the speakers has power and the other one does not so one is active one is passive so we're going to hook those up these are also bluetooth speakers that can be connected by a phone or another device but i'm actually going to wire them to the projector with an aux cable uh, that i picked up as well and then here is the ceiling mount that we're going to have and so our project area is right here we're going to have the screen on the wall i'm going to have the projector in the back i'm going to wire that up to the power here and then the projector and the speakers will be set up to the power there. I'm gonna put a speaker there and a speaker there. So my kiddo's gonna be helping me. We gotta get all the stuff unpacked. Gotta get the old TV and the bracket that's on the back off the wall, take that down. And we're gonna start with the screen and then get it all set up here. Moving on to opening it up. Okay, so we've got the TV off. Now the wall is blank and we've unpacked the motorized projector screen. So what we need to do here is figure out where we're going to mount it on the ceiling. Now, the way this is set up is it has these D-rings on each side and they gave us these screw hooks, which are perfect because our ceiling is wood, so it's gonna be really easy to screw that in. So what I'm gonna do is measure the distance between the peak here of the hooks on each side figure out where we want to mount it on the ceiling by measuring across the wall so it's nice and centered. So that's our next step. Oh, and I forgot to mention, all of these wonderful products will be linked in the description below. So check those out in case you're looking for them. All right, I've got the projector screen hung. Kayla, if you would do the honors, please. And she's controlling that with the remote. Again, it's a 100 inch screen diagonal. So what we've done is I've got the, my plug for it on the ceiling. And so I ran the cord through the crack that I've got there and I'm gonna tighten up these wires. The main control box is right there and it actually has up down buttons on it. But since this one has a remote, which she has in her hand, we'll just use that and I'm gonna mount it on the wall there. So the screen is set up and ready to go. Next, we're gonna move on to the projector up here on the ceiling. All right, so I've got the projector out of the box and I've got my ceiling mount taken apart here and what we're gonna do is flip this over and install what I think, I think the bracket goes on the back. I don't know, we're gonna have to figure out how the bracket goes on here precisely, but there's mounting screws here and it will actually be mounted upside down uh, with the post up to the ceiling. So we're gonna get this all assembled. So after some diligent work here, this thing is a little cumbersome to get together. I've got the mount set up on top of the projector. Um, I kind of did the spin type of pinwheel look to it uh, only because I didn't want these brackets sticking way off the side but it is plenty strong uh, once you get it all mounted up and ready to go. I also went ahead and mounted the post to the ceiling and uh, for reference guys it said that for a screen this width which is about eight feet two inches that the distance shouldn't be any less than the, than the width of the actual screen. So this is sitting at just over eight feet as well in the same spot. So we're gonna get the, the projector uh, mounted up next and hopefully plugged into that plug right there where I have my uh, bug zapper and we'll see if this is working. So I've got the projector mounted up and it's just kind of loosely hanging there. I mean, it's tight, but it's not been adjusted. Uh, I have plugged it in, it is projecting, so it is working. Um, I put the screen up for now because next thing what I'm gonna do is hang up the speakers. So I'm gonna get those mounted up, run the wire for that, get all that plugged in, and then I will do final calibrations on everything. Um, but, the, but the projector is set up, it's ready to go. Um, need to flip the screen um, or flip the projection on it because it was actually projecting upside down uh, because it is upside down. So we'll change that. And then once I get the speakers up and plugged in, 
then we're gonna calibrate it and show this baby off, see if we can get it working. So now on to the speakers. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I picked up these Pile uh, speaker set that has a Bluetooth connection, which is cool. So you can plug directly into them um, with your device. So when we're out here at the pool, we can be listening to music through these. And also one is active and one is passive. So you can see that this one is the active one with the amplifier built in because it has the plug for the power. And then you have the passive one here, uh, which just takes the wire connections uh, to get the power and the sound audio from this one. And then it also has the 3.5 millimeter aux in, which I will be using to run the sound from the projector over there to the uh, active speaker and then the active speaker will have the wire that connects it to this speaker um, so at the end i'll go through this whole setup and kind of walk you guys through it uh, because i had a hard time figuring out what is the best speaker projector projector screen setup that i could do and hopefully i found the right one so next thing i'm going to do is get these mounted up i'm going to do one uh, up there and one up there so on each side of the projection screen that way you're getting the best audio if you're on the couch sitting in the hot tub or if you're in the pool and they give you these brackets which should be relatively easy to do to mount again into the wood ceiling that i have and this is the packet comes with the power adapter the speaker wire all the mounting hardware that i needed to get these up so we're going to do that right now all right, looks like I got the speakers mounted in a pretty good spot. Um, I've got them off the wall a little bit, kind of lined up with that crack so I can run the wiring through them to get to the one on the other side, and then also run the power uh, to that crack as well. And I've got them a little forward off the wall so I can access the back and also so they're providing more fuller sound this direction and then also out in the pool. Um, so the next step will be to get them wired up and just to give you guys a quick look at the back of the speaker, I pulled the primary speaker, the active speaker down real quick just to get everything hooked up. And you've got the power source coming in here. So the amp is in this one. You've got the two wires that are gonna go to the slave speaker. You got your on off switch. And then this is the auxiliary jack, which I'm gonna run along the ceiling to the projector, which is right there. So I'm gonna get this put back up here and then I'm gonna get all the wires buttoned up and try to run the speaker wire through and down to that other speaker over there. All right, the speakers have been installed. Wiring has been buried in the crack there except for that adapter, which I guess is fine because it has a little LED light on it to tell me that the speakers have power. And then I ran this aux cable, which isn't the prettiest thing. I might have to swap this to a white one at some point, so it's a little more hidden, but it uh, looks okay for now. Um, this aux cable then runs down through the post and plugs in on the side of the projector there. So you can kind of see how it's wired to the primary active speaker and then over to the passive. So I'm gonna get the speakers fired up and see if at least they're working right now. All right, the speakers seem to be working great. All right, the next step is to get the projector oriented set up and see if the sound will work from those. Okay guys, so we've got Netflix running on the screen. It's daytime, so it's not the brightest thing. It's kind of tough to see um, during the day, but we've got the audio coming out of the speakers just with that jack and all I have to do is turn on Bluetooth on and off and that's how the, the speakers get activated. And we've got everything oriented nice and straight and we'll, uh, we'll fire it up at night to do a final uh, overview of this project but it's looking like we're just about done. All right guys, so my projector patio setup is complete. Obviously it looks so much better at night and the video on the video here doesn't do it justice, but the picture is actually really clear and the sound is nice and loud, as you can hear. So just to go over this setup again and why I was so desperate to figure this out on, on my own was that I couldn't find a good setup here uh, on the internet of anyone that did this really well and really simply. So again, the way that I have this set up is I have the retractable speaker, and that's a 100 inch diagonal retractable speaker, and then I have the two pile uh, speakers, 
with the aux cord that then goes to the projector itself. And then this projector had Android TV built into it. So it allows for Netflix, YouTube, YouTube TV, uh, Amazon Prime, all of the different um, streaming services that you could possibly want because then it's connected to my Wi-Fi. So this is a really, really simple setup that I think anyone could do uh, to get rocking and rolling with a nice outdoor projector setup that also then doesn't need an additional amplifier because that again is an active speaker that is powering that passive one and I've got the two. If you're going for something more surround sound, if you're going for extra speakers, then you are probably going to have to then uh, wire uh, together a different system with a actual amplifier because this one only powers that one speaker. But for what I've got going on, the volume on this is actually super, super loud if I want it to be. And I can connect my music, my phone directly to these speakers and blast that for hanging out at the pool. So with that, I'm going to call this project complete. Again, if you guys are looking for all of the products, check the description box below so you can get them on Amazon. And all at the end of the day, this costs about $550 or so to get set up. So uh, relatively cheap and much cheaper than any TV that you could buy at that size. Now, again, the last thing is that this isn't gonna look as great during the day because of the brightness. Um, this projector is pretty bright, but it's just competing with that daylight. It's, you're just not gonna be able to see it as well. So this is perfect for or a sit on the couch next to the fire on a beautiful Texas evening. Till next time.